Mike Hickman is a Christian comedian, actor, speaker, and musician. He's been entertaining audiences all over the nation for more than 20 years. His dry bar comedy special is called, They're Gonna Come Get Ya. And right now, you're gonna laugh, because here comes Mike Hickman. Give him a big hand. Oh, thank you so much. You're so very kind. May I hear the sound of all the married people in the auditorium tonight? Yes. I love that sound. That's the sound of romance and commitment and a little bit of fear mixed in from time to time, right? I love being married. I've been married for 18 years in a row. And, uh, and uh, I've learned a lot. I think marriage is the best school that you can possibly go to. I've learned a lot. I've learned that my wife has superpowers she has the unbelievable, amazing ability to take the items that are in our home and quite often find new, better places all over the house to put those things. Now, the only thing is, I don't know where those things are. Until, until I've retrieved it about 100 times, I will literally be standing in the kitchen and my wife will walk by. I will have an item in my hand doesn't matter what the item is. She'll say, all right, when you're done with that, make sure you, uh, you put that back where you got it. Uh, so I just take it back to Walmart. Uh, it's just easier. <laughs> I've learned that women focus better than men do also. There, there's, it's just a gift that you have, ladies, and I think it's God-given. Yes, you can clap for that. <laughs> There, there's things that we men will be asked to do that I don't think that we're, we're capable of, we're not equipped for. Ladies, never ask us to go through the drive through at a fast food restaurant when the whole family's in the car. I can't keep up with that list. <laughs> it's like asking a baby to change its own diaper. It's confusing, it's messy, and it's not gonna come out right. <laughs> we pull up to the drive through I'm driving, my wife's in the passenger seat and here she goes. She turns to me and she says, okay, I want the chicken sandwich, but, but I don't want the crispy chicken sandwich. Make sure that they have the grilled chicken sandwich. And normally it comes on a white bun. Make sure they substitute a wheat bun instead. And normally it comes with mayonnaise. Have them substitute honey mustard. And I'd like to have double lettuce and no pickles unless you want my pickles. Then we'll take it off and you can have my pickles. If not, leave them on. I really don't want fries, but I heard their coleslaw is really good. So if you could have them substitute coleslaw for the fries, that would be great. And I want a large sweet tea, but their tea is a little too sweet. So if you could have them fill a cup halfway full of sweet tea and halfway full of unsweet tea, it'll all equal out. Now, Sarah's going to want the chicken strip basket, but she wants the adult one because it comes with six. She'll get two meals out of it. Make sure she has a batch of fries that has absolutely no salt and a cup of water with a lid and a straw in it. Then just order whatever it is that you want. Are you serious? It's an old car. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to order a less awkward situation, please. And could you supersize me some self-esteem? I can't do it. But now I realize why when I was a kid, when we as a family would pull up to that drive-thru, my dad is driving, my mom's in the passenger seat, my dad would just roll down the window, fold his arms, lean back in his seat, and my mom would yell the order from the passenger side of the car. Yes, it's a perfect system. <laughs> Next time my wife asks me to go through the drive-thru, I'm just gonna back the car into the drive-thru, <laughs> put her right by the window, there you go. <laughs> order whatever you want and order what I want because you know that I have absolutely no idea what I want. <laughs> now, sometimes in public, an embarrassing moment can happen when other people don't focus, even at church. I remember when I was 16 years old, I went down to the altar to pray. I wasn't really dealing with a, a, a sin issue per se. I just, I just wanted to kneel down there. The music is playing and I'm just having a great time with the Lord and I just wanted to pray and be right there by myself in the Lord. And I was in the middle of that when the loudest deacon I've ever heard in my life came up behind me, put his hand on my shoulder and in a loud voice said, Lord! I just want to pray for this young man that whatever sin he's involved in, 
will be broken in Jesus' name. I said, are you serious? <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> Lord, if he is drinking alcohol and doing the drugs, just deliver him right now. I said, you've got to be joking. <laughs> and I've always thought, that if I could go back to that moment, knowing what I know now and having the nerve that I have now, I think the moment that he put his hand on my shoulder, I would just do this. <laughs> I'm trying to pray. <laughs> You're interrupting the precious. <laughs> Mike, are you okay? There is no Mike. There's only Zool. <laughs> Tell you what, that would change the course of the service right there. <laughs> Getting older. I'm in my 50s now. And, and my wife and I, we can't wait to grow old together uh, because I, I've learned something else. I've learned that, that when you're elderly, from what I've observed, you can get away with a lot of things that they might have put you away for years earlier. Yes, people will even applaud you for those things. And I want a part of that. <laughs> we were at a, at a music festival down in Rockport, Texas, down on the Gulf, and, and the, the room is standing room only. A band is about to play. And I nudged my wife, and I said, look, look, look. And on the front row standing there was, was this sweet lady easily in her mid to upper 80s, having a great time. The band starts playing. No joke. She pulls out a hula hoop. Yeah, I don't know where she got a hula hoop. I mean, she would have had to bring it from home like, yeah, tonight I think I'm gonna bring the hoop because I feel like I might get a little bit crazy tonight. So, and she put it on. And you know what, my friends? She was good. She was so good. And you could hear her hip click with every single rotation. It was... Sounded like a geriatric water sprinkler. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. My name is Mike Hickman. God bless you. Oh, Mike, thank you very much. Oh, thank Great you. having you here. Thank you. I have a feeling if we passed out some hula hoops, we might hear that clicking going on out here. <laughs> hey, if you want to see more of the comedy of Mike Hickman, and I believe you will, head to Huckabee.tv. We've got links that you can book him for your own show or community. Also, follow him on social media and see his Dry Bar Comedy Special. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Since you made it here to the end, that must mean you liked the video. So you might as well subscribe and hit that notification bell below. But if you really hated it, just click the like button three times.